Narcissists, they love to trigger you. If they can make you angry, they can control you. Triggering you, that benefits them. Don't you wonder why they seem to enjoy making you crazy? Here are six different triggers that a narcissist will use on you. Number one, the appeal trigger. They play on your sympathies. They play the victim. They play up their weaknesses. They play down their abilities. They can act like they're helpless. They'll act like you're the only one that can solve their problems. If you think that you're the only person that can help them, you're more likely to stay. Number two, the selfish trigger. They focus on what you can do for them. A narcissist might want to spend time with you, but it would be doing what they want to do, not what you want to do. They might even make you feel like spending time with you is a favor. Their focus is all about how you can benefit them. Number three, the fear trigger. This one is the most commonly used because it gives an immediate result. Threats and intimidation are key here. They'll use your fear of losing them, your fear of being alone, fear of abandonment against you. This trigger, it can make you feel guilty about something that you didn't even do. Number four, the guilt trigger. They are masters at making you feel guilty. This trigger is used in many different ways. That said, the most common way is when they make you feel guilty for expressing emotion, any emotion, and then they use that guilt to control you. As soon as you feel guilty, the narcissist can manipulate you into doing what they want. They will find your specific weaknesses and use those against you. Number five is the denial trigger. This is when they deny your sense of reality. Think gaslighting. They start to make you think that you're crazy. You constantly question your own reality. You blame yourself for what's happening. Maybe you even think that it's your fault and that you deserve to be treated this way. You don't. Number six, the bargain trigger. They use emotional manipulation to bargain with you. They might offer to do something nice for you, but they definitely want something in return. And generally, that's not even in line with the effort that they've put in. They may not even expect anything in return, but they will use what they did for you to make you feel guilty. Due to their superiority and entitlement, they think it's a reasonable request that you do whatever they want without anything in return. Typically, if you don't respond to this trigger the way they want you to, they get angry. Triggers are used to control you. Do you want to learn how to stop letting these triggers get to you? Check out the Trauma Bond Recovery Course or book a one-on-one -on -one session with me.